And hello and welcome to... Yeah, I was gonna do some fancy intro, but that's not my style. So let's just begin right away and jump straight into the game. So, um... Exactly where we were. Oh shit, did I not actually save the game last time? That was the outsave I loaded. Holy shit, I did not save the game last time. Um... Well, that's fun. Uh, <laughs> hopefully we didn't lose too much progress. Um, so yeah, we changed up our division templates. We went for a pure, nice infantry based with artillery support, with a bunch of artillery as support. And we started to push the US back. We'll see if we can continue with that trend. We are kind of lacking in manpower. We are on total mobilization, we could probably gain just a tiny tiny amount by switching back to war economy, but that shouldn't be very much at all. Um, let's see, unread naval combat, we don't really check that out. We have, yeah the US have a bit more losses than us, but not very much, we are missing resources. A lot of it, and we need that steel, which we can take from the US if we reach it. So, um, yeah, let's just double check, everything works, and yeah, hello. So, uh, what have I missed? You have missed absolutely nothing, I just begun, or you might have missed 12 parts or 8 parts, whatever is on YouTube right now. And Dram Ravet, thank you for the hosting. Yeah, Dram Ravet. <laughs> and uh, Matt. He is 351, thank you for the follow, but sorry for slaughtering your name, I must have slaughtered it. A new faction name, USSR OTV, Un Unite Soviet Socialist Republic of the World. <laughs> yeah, that could work, that could work. Um, Alright, um, I was gonna give someone, let's see if we can find his name. A Minecraft vocal, some tips of how to just start the game in Hearts of Iron 4. Just very quickly before we actually begin the game, I would recommend you starting as Turkey, as Sweden, or as Brazil. Yeah. A nation that usually exists right here. Um, you're not directly connected into the war, but can, you can do a lot of stuff. On the side, so um, if you're not gonna fascist, you can go fascist. If you're gonna be de a democratic nation, you can be democratic without being right into the fire. You can do a bit whatever you want, and I would recommend set you up a small-time goal, like start as Turkey, try to take over Iraq, and see how it works. Um, yeah, just turn fascist would be my recommendation, and take over I uh, Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan, and just try it out. See what worked out for you and what did not work for work out for you. You said you need with na help with naval and air fields. Um, if you use naval naval stuff, just just plainly use it for in the beginning at least for naval invasions. Do not try to have superiority of the sea all the time. Just short bursts where you want to transfer troops. And the same with air superiority. Use fighters uh, you, I can show you. Um, I usually do fighters for defensive, heavy fighters for offensive activities. And since I want to go very heavily on offensive use with my heavy fighters, I went for only heavy fighters. If I want to play very defensively, like with Germany, uh, I, I use normal fighters. Since moving them up through every single territory, I like to keep more focus on the ground army as those nations. Um, so yeah, heavy fighters for long range and fighters for protection. But I think we will begin the game now, not talk a lot more. If you have any other questions, just yeah, post them in the chat and I will try to bring them up. So we have resistance occupants. Um, I was thinking about that. Um, we're getting more manpower the lower we have it. And we don't really need the factories. So we're gonna be super peaceful to every single one we occupy. We're gonna lose some factories by doing it, but we need the manpower instead. It's 10% more, so not completely just bad. Um, so at least it's something. Let's see if we can push up here. That would be kind of useful. Um, here, that's just 
bad. Don't, please. Oh, you you are attacking that area, so you can't really do anything about that. Um, you are still holding on. That's good. Yes, you are pushing in here. That's also quite good. Um, I want to bring this province down for the love of God, but they don't want to fall. They're holding that single province like it's worth the entire nation. It's getting a bit irritated, but it seems like they're finally falling. Yeah, they're falling. Excellent, 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 excellent. What a heavy fighter is better for offense and what confusion offensive fight. Not in Snapshot Merton, but solely for solo on air. Okay, what I mean with focusing on defensive with normal fighters and heavy fighters for offensive actions is just my kind of playstyle. Heavy fighters, I don't have to move as much and they cover a much, much larger area. While, let's see here, here as Germany, these are your three air zones. You can have fighters here, fighters here, fighters here, and they would cover everything here. If you wanna go offensively into the Soviet Union, you can have to move them, 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 a bunch of time. But if you're playing with heavy fighters, your fighters can pretty much be stationed right here and move to all of these territories and then you just move them right here take all of these territories move them up here take you have to move them a lot less times why, uh, why are you not worried about the US invasion into your mainland I kinda know how the play AI plays so I don't have to worry about that <laughs> and they have actually made a couple of small invasions now and then but nothing that I couldn't handle by just pulling back a couple of troops. And now, come on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sacrifice some people. I'm gonna sacrifice around 100k men and see if I can get anywhere by just pushing and using my planning bonus that I've actually focused on. So, yeah, I'm just gonna let the AI push now. They have a careful on, right? Good. So, I'm just gonna let them. Let, let, them, let them push by their own means and see how far they can get. And you I would really want here and you I want you to stay right there. And you are falling back which is not something I would prefer you to do. So half of you go, go up here and instantly counter attack. Excellent. So range is a big fact for you for convenience. Isn't it lower agility? I use loss for that. I can always upgrade agility if that is what I feel I'm missing. And here, please attack right there. So I'm just letting the AI push a bit free for all. And while I'm controlling some small parts for myself, please push here instead. I don't want them to counter attack counterattack by doing any sneaky moves um, you my dear friends please attack right there you should be holding this you are moving in here please attack up there you four attack straight ahead all of you three attack there no that's very bad fall back I actually have to wait two hours before you can fall back you are gonna go forward there you attack here so you delay them good that was not perfect but at least I delayed them enough now when you two are attacking right here please attack here so we get this round penalty or they get this round penalty and we get a higher combat whiff which makes us instantly wipe them thank you so we are pushing into the US nice Holy, holy shit, you're retreating to that province. Please be very quick and move in there. If we take this province before them, we will just overrun all of these divisions. I severely doubt we will reach it in time, but one can always hope that we grab at least a few of the divisions. No, I don't think it's gonna happen. Um, so, okay, okay, let's try to do this. Let's go one step further than them and just try to beat them to the next next province but that does not seem to happen either 
Um, I want you to be assigned to that front, but you're not going forward because of supply issues. We are trying to improve it, right? Oh, right, we're just building forts now. Um, stop it. And we're building nuclear facilities too, oh, right. Yeah, the AI has, we have been working with the AI a bit on how they use nukes and when they use nukes, so the AI is gonna use a lot more nukes and that's gonna be freaking scary. Since that is gonna hurt a ton. Alright, let's see. Um, you, I don't have this, I don't have that. Um, close air support, agility, sure. We need to go down there. Um, then an improvement for the I IA would be to code them for El Salvador wins, as it happens for TDR Jake. What? <laughs> what do you mean now? So, come on, slow push up into the US. Bring down the Mexico line. Will we finally break the entire Mexico front? That would be super nice. And here, this is where I want to push. No, this is not gonna work. So fall back, you two. You are should be more careful. All right, um, this front have been pushing forward that whole way. So let's try to reorganize it. Pause the game, please. Thank you. Do this like that. And let's do this. Let's move it a tiny bit like that. So a bit more focused on this area. You are kind of holding your ground, good. Still a bit of trouble with infrastructure right here. So in Texas, can I find any... Right there. <laughs> that took two seconds. Um, so I'm just prioritizing the infrastructure in Texas so we can actually... Yeah, have better supply there. And we are also now have trouble in... Sonora or and whatever the other nation was called. Um, yes. And there. So me prioritizing repairs is very rare, but sometimes that sometimes it could just be ridiculously important that you actually do it. Um I see a way. Come on. Lose that attack, lose that attack, please. Come on, stop it. Stop it. 97, god damn it. Stop attacking this single province. They're using my tactics against me. I always do this because it's super effective. Come on. A couple more hours. Good. I'm finally on the offensive now. Move in right there. I want to cut this off. Um, you are going forward. Please push here. Please push there. Actually, half of you go back and push there. Yes, I'm not winning, but I'm keeping them busy. No, you're not going to attack that province. What you are going to do is move in right there. Okay, fine. Attack that province, but you're going to do that with minimum arms. So we don't actually force them to retreat. We just want them to be a kept busy. A, sh a small while longer. Come on, move in here. Quickly. Quickly now. Good evening, Link. Link. Link 11. Yeah, it was Link 11. Nope, it seems like they're not doing as I hoped. Yep, they even broke this province, which I really desperately wanted to hold. Well, maybe not desperately, but it would have been nice. Finally, you arrived right here, so please attack right there. I'm losing a lot of men right now. USA is losing even more, but they can keep this up for so much long, more long, so much longer than me. Um, it would be really nice when I'm reaching the steel states, the states of steel. 
Actually, speaking of nukes, I wish plutonium and uranium was a free resource for producing nukes in production line. It would make sense. Yeah, it could. Though, I'm sure there's a reason, like, we don't want too many resources or something like that in the game, but something worth bringing up. I can ask Dan, Podcat, Project Lead, about it. And this is a question you, mu- you can't answer because you work at Paradox, but what do you think is the biggest feature that could be added with the DLC or update? Why couldn't I answer that? Hmm. What do I feel is missing from the game? The biggest feature also, that's super hard to answer. Hmm. If I would add something completely of my own will... Oh, that's a really nice one. That was surely a couple of divisions, at least 10 or something. Uh, Let's see. What would I want in the game? Hmm. I don't know. I think I want some kind of... No. God damn it. Why did you ask me such a hard question? I'm really trying to figure out what exactly I would add if I had free reign. To add one single thing. Hello Gongian and for whatever, how I should say that name. Sorry for slaughtering it, but hello and welcome to the stream today. Or, well, maybe almost tonight, but... <laughs> uh, just a topic, but what do you think of naval invasion? Is it some kind of hard for British mainland? Many people say it's hard, but for me, I do a naval invasion in Britain and quite a few... Like, invading Britain is half foolish luck and half m- craziness. Since you can be super lucky and the Eng- English Navy is busy in Mediterranean or whatever. Or you're super unlucky and they're busy crushing your fleet. All right. We are not gonna hold this by any shape or form. Really, eight days to move those few provinces quickly. We're gonna need to go there right away and help out. Oh, you want? Oh, you're trying to take back the city. No, continue attacking. Continue attacking. Really. We pushed everywhere, except we lost that city. And yeah, it's because my troops are getting kind of spread out. So hold out, or hold everywhere and try to regroup. Basically, so we have a better line. And I'm gonna redraw this entire front, since yeah, we're doing planning bonus attacks. And without a plan, no planning bonus. Counter attack. Hopefully bring him bring them back right away. Good. Now stay there. This might be a bit bad, that hole. Can you show the extent of your empire so far? There you go. <laughs> Not more, no more, no less. We went to a war with the US a bit too early or too late. You could say the both, both of it. But okay, we have lost a ton of men. We're gonna switch back to war economy and there it is, 700k now. A nice, a nice, fat amount of troops, um, fat amount of extra troops, more like it, and we're missing a ton of infantry equipment right now, alright, um, we have how much artillery, 1.2k, that is gonna be enough for 
quite a few units so we're gonna grab you move you up to the top and that's gonna produce a bunch of steel but it's not gonna be enough by any mean shape or form we need a we need to steal some steel from the US now let's see which state does have steel okay this state and then we have to move up pretty much straight ahead so we need to take Arizona and that's the one city we need to grab so we're gonna play it kind of safe um, you are doing something, I don't know what, but we're gonna take manual control over that entire force and force ourselves in. We're gonna take the force to force ourselves into a province. Yeah, that works. Kind of. <laughs> so let's actually see. From this, we're. Alright, oh, we have complete smashed resistance right there since we have all our troops stationed there right now. Come on. No. And push in. Yeah, you don't have much organization, but we should only need a very short am amount of it. Uh, don't do this. Really? You're getting pushed back? I don't like that. So do this. break those divisions nice let's grab you and try to surround these units oh yeah you're falling back so that's fine yeah you are not doing very well so let's fall back with you and try to grab them <laughs> oh yeah yeah if you can please go in there Please take back that city, it's mine. It's mine! <laughs> so, uh, twitch that shit. So, it seems like supply is something we're severely lacking right here. And it's infrastructure, basically. Oh, right. Um, then we, we need to grab the city first. That is gonna be the first step of re <laughs> retaking our supply. Please, come on, just move into the city before they can. Good, and uh, let's check the supply right now. Even worse. <laughs> Wait, why are you so bad? That doesn't make real sense. Oh, previous infrastructure is holding it back by a lot. Hmm. So let's do like this and add a nice naval port. And tech. Oh, all the infrastructure in Texas is once again completely destroyed. That's expl that explains it. Uh, all of this is done. Nice. Let's do excavation level 5 too. So all the... Everything we actually do get, we get the maximum amount of. Experimental rockets. Nice to have, but we're not going to use it at all for it. We're just going to do rocket engines and then we're going for jet engines. Break it. Go in, continue on. Try to break it up right here. You are being not really produced since we're missing a lot of equipment. <laughs> so let's not try to do it. 4.4k. That's not okay. We need more. Why does Texas not have guns as natural resource? <laughs> Whoa, we're not that stereotypical with our games. <laughs> yeah, you are definitely gonna break right here since I took all the troops that were gonna reinforce. Yeah, you're gonna push back that assault. You're also gonna push back that assault. Let me push in now. 
Wait, you're trying to... Did I tell all of you to do that? No, I did not. Ah, <sighs> sometimes this AI man, or my stupid movements, and I try to explain it by something else. <sighs> it looks kind of fine. All right, 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 we're not gonna push, even though it looks kind of fine because of infantry equipment. We need to solve it somehow first. Weren't we like swimming in infantry equipment like several hundred K before? I'm pretty sure we did. And now we're, well, definitely not doing that. And you are holding on. I like that it's the Swiss flag. Wh why are you retreating? Freaking idiot. Did I tell you to retreat? No, I told you to push in to that territory. So I want you to do it. You're being counterattacked, losing all the organization just when you're about to do the finishing blow. I don't like that. So, come on, come on. Yes, you're moving in now. I want to surround this. I want to do it badly. How long will it take for you to move in? Four days and seven hours. <laughs> Holy shit. That's gonna be way too long. They're gonna push down all the way here before they actually reach anywhere. Well, I guess it's just waiting. Sh reshuffling, looking at supply, crying because it's so horrible. Ugh. There, there, supply. Why are you so horrible? How many more days? Three days and 13 hours. Come on. Keep them busy. Let these units go wherever they need to. Cavalry, you go too. That should go a bit faster. Uh, or not. Yeah, four hours and a couple of hours, but... You're already on your way, so that should go faster now. We are still holding that city, that's nice. I think you should really be... You really have more uses for arm XP, yeah. I could agree, since I'm not using any tanks, I'm not having a lot of use for it. Though I'm having some use for my ex uh, naval, or maybe not naval experience, but at least air experience. So let's actually upgrade mine a bit. No, oh, range, range, no. I want to upgrade reliability. That's 130, let's upgrade a bit more. 340. I don't, that's not really needed. Agility, uh, that's fine. Air attack plus 16, yes, please. Mark 1. Any more fighters? No. The problem with the US versus me is they have so many more divisions than me. They can just continue attacking on every single area where I cannot. Okay, let's actually... Instead of letting them attack right here... God damn it. <laughs> Pause the game, attack them instead, and you just continue onwards. Okay, I'm gonna force you to retreat into that territory even. <laughs> the same with you. So, to force them not to engage in, in battles right here, but to actually move to this province. Um, I did not mean to tell you to go there, since you're just gonna get... Not wiped out, but you're just gonna lose a lot of stuff. And you guys, hey, it's actually pulling back, that's kind of smart for it, bad for me, since all the time I spent to trying to surround them will now be completely wasted. 